Hey there, everybody. Welcome to the THW NHL News and Rumors Rundown for the weekend of February 27th. My name is Jim Parsons. I'm here with TheHockeyRaiders.com. We've got tons of news to go through, tons of rumors to talk about. But before we do that, just a quick reminder, uh, go to the Hockey Raider at Twitter if you want to follow us there. You can check us out at the Hockey Raiders on Facebook. Tons of new video content, tons of new articles, tons of new everything up on that Facebook page as well, thehockeyraiders.com. You can check out the latest news and rumors that I'm putting up every day. I had one this morning. I'll have one again tomorrow. We'll just keep it rolling. But we've got tons to cover today, so we'll do that right now. Um, a couple stories coming out that are really big. Uh, one, Claude Julien has been let go by the Montreal Canadiens. GM Mark Bergevin has decided to release both Julien and associate coach Kirk Muller. Bergevin said they just needed a new voice. Dominic Ducharme will take over the role as head coach of the Montreal Canadiens. And it seems like maybe Bergevin could be on his last legs here in Montreal. This team has really struggled compared to what was expected out of them when they first made all their major moves in the offseason. Montreal is a team that spent over 120 some million dollars uh, to improve and juggle their roster. And it hasn't turned into success this season. They're quickly shooting down the North Division standings. Uh, so it should be very interesting to see what happens with Montreal if they continue to struggle and what might happen with Bergevin, who's coming up on the end of his contract with the GM's job here. So who knows what's going to happen there. But Julian is out, Dominic Ducharme is in, and we'll see where the Canadians go from there. An odd story coming out of New York, which is seeming to be seems to be at least clarifying itself a little bit. Artemi Pernarin has taken a leave of absence from the Rangers based on some allegations against him that he physically abused an 18-year-old girl in a bar. Uh... Andre Nazaroff, a former NHL coach and KHL guy, uh, kind of seems to have targeted Panarin here for political reasons. Uh, there's The KHL has reported that there's no story here that they're aware of. Uh, the allegations don't seem to be true. Panarin has vehemently denied that he's done anything wrong here, but he still took a leave because of concerns for his family and people associated to this story. Uh, it looks like it should get cleared up here, but it's kind of troubling considering that uh, just somebody who has it out for Panarin might want to make up a story like this, and then Russian news media outlet would run with it, and it would force the player to take some time away from the Rangers. So we'll see how long he's going to be out, uh, and hopefully this you know, clears itself up here in the near and quick future because it's not a very pretty sight, uh, and it's kind of troubling that it's happening. All right, lots of news coming out with the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, tons to go through. R- Ryan Nugent Hopkins talking about contract extensions ken holland has recently said it's not as easy as it would seem it's kind of complicated because we have to find a, a fit for both sides he says he wants ryan nugent Hopkins to be comfortable that he'll show up to work every day and be happy about his salary but at the same time it has to work for the edmonton oilers speculation is that oilers want this to be under seven million uh, nugent hopkins could probably get that or more on the open market uh, he's on the last year of his deal. Edmonton doesn't necessarily want to spend too much money. Holland says he's been in that situation with Detroit, and then it doesn't work out. The system is built in the NHL to punish teams who spend too much on players, uh, so he doesn't want to do that. So we'll see where this Nugent Hopkins stuff goes, um, mostly because of the fact that he's a really important piece to the Oilers puzzle. He plays on the top line. He's got chemistry with Connor McDavid. Um, speaking of McDavid, he is potentially on pace for 100 points this season in 56 games. He's on fire. The Oilers are really playing well, 11-2 and in their last 13 games. They're going to go into a series of three games against the Toronto Maple Leafs this week. Uh, no Austin Matthews for Toronto on Saturday. So McDavid is having a really, really strong season. Uh, but that's not the only news for Edmonton. Adam Larson, uh, there's news about him. Apparently the Oilers and Larson haven't even talked about or examined an extension yet. He, too, was on the last year of a contract deal with the Oilers. He's played really well for Edmonton. He's not, of course, turned out to be the player that they thought they were getting when they traded for Taylor Hall, but he sort of reinvented himself as a gritty, physical, stay-at-home defenseman. Um, He wanted to be more offensive, but he's really finding his role at Edmonton. If he could come back on a discount less than the $4 million he's making now, or $4.1, whatever it is, uh, he might be useful for Edmonton. But at the same time, they got to get through the expansion draft. they got to decide what to do with Nugent Hopkins. Uh, so there's a lot to go through when it comes to Adam Larson. So lots going on in Oilers, uh, Oilers Nation, but there's some really good hockey being played by that team right now. And they are shooting up the standings only you know, third place in the NHL standings and could pass to uh, Toronto if they sweep all three games. Speaking of the Maple Leafs, unfortunately bad news for them on Saturday. Austin Matthews will not play against the Oilers on Saturday. His wrist injury, a nagging one where he slid into the boards against Calgary, has been bugging him. He skated on Saturday morning with the Taxi Squad, but has decided he's not able to play on Saturday. We'll see if that affects the Maple Leafs, who are hit and miss, but still at the top of the NHL standings. And some rumors that the 
Maple Leafs might be looking at a player like Eric Halla out of Nashville. Nashville looks to be sellers this season. Uh, lots of names coming out of that organization who could be moved, but the Maple Leafs could have some serious interest in Halla if he becomes available. They'll just have to work out the salary situation. Bobby Ryan has commented on potentially being traded by the Detroit Red Wings. He says he'd rather not. He'd like to stay with Detroit if he can do so, but he understands the business part of it. He understands that when he signed there on a one-year deal, low cost, uh, and he's been productive. It's a win-win for everybody, but it means he could get traded. Uh, Detroit will probably move him by the deadline, and he'd like to stay in Detroit, maybe even come back if he does get dealt, but he understands this is how it works. He's okay to go to a contender. He knows it's what's going to happen. And in Buffalo, Jeff Skinner's back in the lineup today. Um, Jack Eichel's out, but there's still a lot of talk about what's going on with Skinner. He's been a healthy scratch a bunch of times. Uh, the agent had had a conversation with Kevin Armstrong of the Sabres organization asking, what's the deal here? What are we supposed to do about this? Uh, how do we get it going? And Ralph Krieger, the head coach of the Buffalo Sabres, has basically said he wouldn't be in this situation if he just played the way he's supposed to be playing. He's not trying to dismiss Skinner, but he's not really worried about him either. He only wants to focus on the players who are playing for the Sabres right now, which means with Skinner back in the lineup today, he's among that group. So we'll see if this goes anywhere Skinner's not going to be a guy you can trade he's making way too much money he's not nearly as productive as he should be uh, no team's going to want to take that on so we'll see where Buffalo goes all right guys that's going to do it for us this weekend uh, we'll talk to you next week don't forget again check us out at the Hockey Raider on Twitter you can go to the Hockey Raiders.com uh, to check all the news and rumors and then the Hockey Raiders Facebook page all right guys we'll talk to you soon uh, thanks a lot have a fantastic weekend